How's it going guys? Welcome back to Unknown Capture. Today we're going to be doing a different video. Today we're going to be doing a Premier League 2021-2022 prediction. We're going to be talking about all the teams who I think is going to be going down, which team is going to be winning the Premier League, some dark horses. Let's get right into the video. So guys, let's start with the bottom of the table. So who do you think is going to come in 20th position? Newcastle. You're going Newcastle in 20th position? That's a, yeah. that's a matter. They haven't signed anyone. Dead team. I was thinking of saying Norwich City. Yeah, Norwich is more of a thing than... Okay, but at least Newcastle have been in the Premier League for a long time. Yeah. Like, it's more obvious as well because they, they came first and then they you know, came last again. Twice yeah. But near enough, every team has signed someone besides them and they're probably one of the richest clubs in the league. And they have any no, no, they're shit. not the richest club in the league. They're one of the brokest teams in the league, bro. As in like the club, like... The, the, the club doesn't oh, get well, investments. Where, where, the club doesn't get investments. Okay, yes, Mike Ash is a... He, he owns sports direct. Yes, he makes the money from that, but he doesn't invest his personal money into the club, so... So, uh, mm -hmm. right. Norwich is most likely to come 20th position. It's the most obvious, I would say. Yeah, uh, Brentford are there, but I think Norwich. I would go Brentford or Norwich, but to make it easier for I would everyone. say Norwich, actually. Yeah, so we'll go Norwich 20th position. They do have a decent team, that, um, the right back you said. Max Sarans. Then they have Tom Cadmo, he's a bowler. Um, Billy, he's Gomo. Billy Gomo. Billy Gomo's gone on loan. Oh today. shit, he's gone on loan to what? My guy, my guy, fair enough. You never know, it, uh, the Scottish in yesterday could be a madness, so right. you never know. You'll get the chance right there. Yeah, but I think it's a good thing for him. He gets Premier League experience, so you can go back to Chelsea next year and he's like do a madness. He's 19, is 19. Uh, yeah, he's really young. He's very young. Oh. Yeah, he's a madness though. Won the Champions League already. So who do you think is going to come in 19th position? I was going to say Brentford FC. Yeah, I would say Brentford FC. Mm -hmm. They've lost. I, I, they I, got Ivan Tony. He's very good. He's scored like 30 goals last season. Yeah, but the, the, the gap from the championship to the Yeah, but for the teams matters. that they've got, he's the only guy that can probably dip. I don't know. It's hard to say with these teams from the championship. But I would say Watford. They got a very aging side. They nah, got, nah, nah. No, no, no. The, the only, what, only, the only aging player that's Troy Deeney and um, Ben Foster. Ben Foster, but they have Jao Pedro. They signed, they signed one of the players from Denmark, the centre back recently. Quite young players. Yeah, right? yeah. So they, I think they actually have a chance. Right. I think they will stay up this. I, I, maybe they could go down, but I think they're going to stay up this season, maybe. But I'm, I think I'm going to go Brentford for 19th right. position. Everyone agree? Oh, definitely 100%. Yes, so 18th position, I don't know who's going to win, who's going to be there. I would say um, Arsenal. They were there. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, every oh, Arsenal fan. A guy, someone like, um, Arrow, let's say, Arrow Rams though, he signed for all these teams and he was linked to Arsenal. All the teams he's joined has been relegated. Yeah, but if they sign Aaron Ramsdale, but Arsenal's also get relegated. It's, never, it's never going to happen. It's like, I know, but it's like, I'm just holding What's the same? Things. Like, it's never gonna happen. Like right, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll probably become a billionaire before Arsenal get relegated, bro. Mm -hmm. If a realistic, okay, then I'd say either Burnley or Newcastle. Southampton. I would say Newcastle. I think Newcastle. I it's very hard. hard. This. For me, I would say it's between Burnley or Newcastle. No, I think Burnley have a good coach. That Sean Dyche. He can he's done very well. He, he can he can scrap a result out. He he will somehow. Oh, they will lose quite a few games in the season. But the, you will beat all the teams which he needs to beat and you will just about survive. Mm -hmm. And that's what he did last season as well. The thing is, Burnley, they all, all they have is um, um, Barnes. Barnes, yeah. But, fun. but Barnes is cut. They have Chris Wood as well. I mean, Chris Wood, he wasn't there. Not as as but the, the defense is solid. They're, they're our team to break it is very hard. Ben, yeah. ben Mead, Tarasowski. Tar He's a really rough player. And then, yeah. They're, they're very rough. They have, Nick Pope, they have Nick Pope and Goal. Oh yeah, I, I think he's injured. He's injured, but, he's injured. but I think he should be back in time or he should, should be, be back. Season. Yeah, season. Yeah. So I, I don't. I think it's more likely going to be Newcastle than it will be Burnley for me. I think. Okay. So I'm going to go Newcastle because they don't have vision yeah, going no, anywhere. Really so, yeah. And I think last year they, they did all right, but they could have easily go down. So Wilson but, Fraser. They oh. had a very good side. That is, that, your it talent is good. That is, yeah, exactly. They, they did spend the money because they, they bought all the players from Bournemouth, didn't they? Exactly. But unfortunately, they, they were um, out injured. Yeah, Cal 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 that's why I think really they didn't good. probably win for players because they feel like they saw it for the season coming up. The, but the, did, did they not sell? Who was the striker which they bought for a lot of money? Joe Linton? Joe, Joe he's yes. very old. They they for, no, no, he's still there. They bought for roughly 50 like, million. Like, no, 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 45 no. or something. It was like, yeah, 30 something million. He didn't score that many goals in the league. He scored like less than five goals. He's awful. So, I. Uh, I think it's going to be Newcastle for Norman IG. Joe Linton up front at the moment. Yeah, yeah. show. Uh, I think they have to rely too much on, uh, what's his name? Um, Callum Wilson and Steve yeah, Bruce. Yeah. Okay, yes, he's a man here, allegedly. He did so go, but... Man, Almeron as well. Oh, shit, yeah, okay. It's making more of a thing to take them up. But I think I think if they go down, Maximan's gone. Callum Wilson will be oh, leaving yeah. the club. I think everyone will go, but... 
I think Newcastle is going to come 18th position. So mm. 17th, who do you think? Uh, let's be real. It's going to be Burnley. I'm feeling Burnley for sure. Yeah, Burnley. They will uh, get away for the second time in a row. They, they, they always are. escape somehow. Yeah, exactly. Always. They're, they're not one of the teams who's going to get top 10. No. They're, they're going to be in the bottom of the table. They're just there. Like, they're just taking part. They, they have, to, have, have you seen the kit? The kit's pretty nice. I it's a very nice kit. They're like blue on the like light blue on the thing, and then that the maroon on the side. It's pretty nice. Umbro Umbro has actually done them well. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So who do you think is gonna come in 16th position? Mm. So I would say I was thinking Brighton. Yes, Brighton. Brighton. They've got some good players, but they're always that. More play. Who's the who's the black he's a? Um, oh, uh, Bisuma. Bisuma. He's, he's, he's very. He's very good. Tosai. Tosai. Yeah. He's, he's good. good. Yeah, he's, exactly. Graham Potter is a very good manager. They do have Lewis Dunk as well, a solid, a solid centre back. One of the most used centre back in the And they lost Ben White. Yeah, yeah but ben, 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 ben. I don't think like, he done all that. He got spun by a bare man's last season. The thing season. is, Ben White. He's alright. He's pretty good. I think he's not too bad. Not worth 50 he, million. He, well, he, not bad. Yeah, in the current market, he's very inflated. So anyone in the current market is going to go for ridiculous prices. English players are the ones who get inflated prices. Yeah, uh, it's just the Premier League. Like, the yeah. Premier League is absolutely fucked out here. So you want to go for? I would say Brighton, yeah. Brighton for Brighton. 16th position. I I think Brighton could do better. It really depends on injuries. Depends on a lot of things. Do they not have Danny Robert as well? Yeah, he, yeah. He's, he's still there. The he's Adam Lallana has played for them as well. He came oh from yeah. Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, he's still there. Yeah, he came from Liverpool, but I think that seems like a reasonable position. Mm. So guys, who do you think is going to come 15th position? Ah, uh, I would say it's either between Watford or Southampton. Oh, no, I think Southampton do have a very good team. I don't know. James Waterprouse. Um, oh, they used to have, what's the name? Um, that Charlie Austin. Char- yeah, but he plays. Charlie Austin, he like. Did he play for QPR? Does he not play for QPR? No, he came yes, from QPR yes. to them. I think now he's at West Brom. Yeah, he's at West Brom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, he was I, at West Brom. I think he left. He left at West Brom and he went back to Queen's Park Raiders. Yeah, he did, did he not? No, no but fuck it. Doesn't, doesn't matter. He gives a fast spot. No, but they did. I'll say Southampton or Watford. No, but do not uh, Southampton used to play to Leicester, the, the guy who was who, who used to play for England, the right back. Oh, Walker Pierce. No, Walker, no, no, left back, sorry, left back, left back. The, oh, what's his name? He just signed for Leicester. You, oh, you guys were going Did he sign uh, this year? You just uh, this summer. Uh, what, right back, left back? Uh, back? Left back. I don't know. He, he used to play for England. Young. Left he, back is he quite young. No, no, no he's old. Oh, yeah, Ryan Bertrand, he signed oh, for Leicester. Oh, oh, Bertrand. Yeah, he signed for That's Leicester. That's a good signing. Yeah, he's he's He'll right be back. good off the bench, but not as a starter. You know, but uh, but I think Leicester being lacking in the left back position because Ben Chilwell left. Didn't oh he? shit! Yeah. So I think he, they have Ricardo Pereira right, like what right back to yeah. do the to do the yeah. job. But I think Watford's going most likely to come fifteen. Yeah, yeah they, they do have a, they do have signed a, some good players. I think Jao Pedro is he's young. He's been banging goals in the championship last time. Troy Deeney. Quite a bit of an aging team, like Deeney and Ben Foster. Yeah, he's quite aging right now. Yeah, but Ben Foss has one more year, but they still have backup goalkeepers ready anyway. But I think I think it's Watford. Well, I'll say Watford. I was thinking between Crystal Palace or Watford, but I don't know if you want to put Watford. I, Watford. I, I think Watford. Oh, I think. I think Palace will be like in between both. Like it will be yeah, a hard. That's like, what I was thinking. That's yeah. like no, there's like the table. I think they will probably be. Yeah, there's so much space for both of these teams to move. It's so hard. But in 14th position, I would I, say Crystal Palace. Yeah, I, I think, would say. Palace. I think it'll be yeah. Palace. I, I think Palace do have a very good team, and I think that's what could go over the cracks. Which Patrick Vieira as a manager, like because they do have like it's very inexperienced. You never know. It could be either. Middle, I have a strange feeling he might get sacked from middle. Goal. It could be either Absolutely. really. It could go either really good or really horrifically bad. He has no experience whatsoever. He I hasn't done all this. Maybe Royal was a good team. manager for them. He got the job done for them. He, he, yeah. he wasn't. He wasn't like crazy, but he, he did get the job done for them. They do have players like Zal still. They do sell a, like a reasonable mid table team. They have the guy who they signed recently as well. Ezekiel something as uh, something oh, like oh, that. Oh, is he the defender? Easy, easy as well. Yeah, easy, yeah. They signed him recently. Oh, he's a winger, he's a winger. And apparently he's gonna he's gonna be the next people for them. So they, they could yeah. do well. They could do well. So we've got 14th for Crystal Palace. Mm-hmm. Then 13 has to be Southampton. Yeah, Southampton. Yeah, yeah, now now it's yeah. going to the business end of the like the bottom off. Yeah, definitely. But I think Southampton, they do have good players. Yeah. Danny Ings is very good. Uh, but they do have a very good team. But they, either they do really well, beat Madness, yeah, beat Liverpool, and then lose to United like 9 0. They're, right. they're, they're never in the middle. It's like either end of the spectrum. So, but we will go for them for 13th position. Mm-hmm. Okay. For 12, who do you think it's going to be? I think it could be Wolves. 
I'm thinking of probably from like seven or eight. Nah, no way. I think every, there's so many. There, come on, there's Aston Villa. Why don't you hear? Why don't you back? That is. Well, I think it could be Aston Villa. If they lose Jack Villa, who do they really have? Except I mean, they brought in um, Buendia. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I remember also tried to sign him, didn't they? I was in Wolves. You were saying, I was thinking of Wolves. I don't think Jimenez is going to be the same as he was like. But they season. do have got a new manager. They've got an yeah, experienced manager from Portugal. Portugal. Some guy called Bruno Lago or something. Yeah, is he, not from, yeah. is he not from the Portuguese league? I think Benfica. Yeah, yeah. So Benfica is not an easy team to deal with. So oh, I think no. he, he, he could he could be a good person on the job. But they, they do have some players coming back. They've got Jimenez back, yeah. Ruben, Nia, Ruben Neves. They got the Priori, the the Priori, 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 Fabian Silva, then Donka, then Dori. The, the Cody so, guy he played for England as well, Pedro, my guy. Pedro Neto. Pedro Neto, okay, see. I, I think it could be Aston Villa because I think. Actually, if they yeah. lose Lyric, as like you said, I, I don't see. Nah, I don't think so. I'll say, yeah, I'll say Villa. Oh, like, yeah, I'll say Villa, then Wolves. Now, I think Wolves could come top 10. No. I think they could do well because they got, they got a good manager from Benfica. So, so we're going to go for him for 12th position. Mm, for the four, so for eleven guys, who do you think? I'll take Wolves. I'm thinking West Ham. Yeah, West Ham. Uh, no, no West I think Ham. West Ham did their madness last season. I think. Yeah. No. I think, uh, they were pretty lucky because of Arsenal and Spurs. They were yeah. pretty tr- whacking trash. To, towards the end, Jesse Lingard stopped firing. Towards the end, yes, yes he was. Okay. Towards, towards the end, he, he's, uh, when he first came in, he gave the spot. But towards the end, mm. they bought. They were like six points clear. I for, feel like I feel like they could be pretty. No, low. but they were like six points clear for Champions League. Then they bottled it. They were supposed to come fourth. You know, that is true. Yeah. Like towards the end, they bottled it. Suchek just it. stopped doing like his things. Like so, in February, March. And then and then Michael Antonio got injured as well. Yeah. yeah. Yes. yes. So. Yeah. So for 12, who, who do you think? Wait, no, no. Is it 12? 14? 13? No, 11, sorry. For 11, who do you think is going to come? Uh, I was thinking West Ham, but it's up to you. But if, I, I, uh, I, think, I think Wolves. I'll still go by Wolves. I feel like West Ham, you never know. Yeah, I think. I, it depends who West Ham signed. I think they haven't signed anyone which I'm really like. Really Unless they can good. somehow get Lingard within the short time. No, but I think, Ling, I think Lingard's going to stay at United. I think he's going to be a rotation player, really. Yeah, so, because if you really wanted to sign Lingard right now, you would already done it. You you already you already done it because he didn't go to he didn't go to the Euros, no. so you could have signed him already, and he could have already been in preseason with West Ham touring around. Exactly. So, West Ham so, had a chance to buy for thirty million. Yeah, I still said no to that because I think they knew towards the end of the season he wasn't helping. He wasn't the guy who was for them. Mm. So eleventh position, I think West Ham is screaming out for me. I'm All right, yeah. Down. So we got eleven. So tenth position, I think it's gonna Wolves. I think it could be between no. It's yeah, not going to let, let me between Leeds and Wolves because with Leeds, yeah, okay, yes. But they, whenever we don't think they go. No, okay, they do a bump for But whenever I see Leeds play, he's probably the most underrated striker last year. He did so. He, he, he did. Yeah. He did do very well. They've they've signed Harrison permanently from yeah. the, uh, City. He was on loan. Yeah. They you got no, but I think a couple of injuries could put something. Uh, they minus. haven't got anyone injured. Plus, no, Bradford you know, hasn't even played in the Euros, so he's going to be fresh. So okay. So. And Phillips, he's done well in the Euros. He's going to be ready. He's going to be more available. He ain't, bro. They're going to be up there. They ain't gonna nah, be, I think they're going to be in that nah, position. Oh, you. you're smoking. Bro, bro, you're smoking crack, bro. So if you want to get a spoon, I'll give you some heroin or something. <laughs> nah, bro. I, so what position do you think leads are coming then? Bro, they're gonna be the fifth or sixth. <laughs> they're gonna be better than Arsenal. No, no you way. You joked, man, Arsenal fans. Suck your moms. <laughs> I think Wolves will come 10th position. They do have a very good manager from Benfica. And uh, they do have good players. Rather than Jimenez like, ain't the same as last year. He'll be back. I'm telling you. He, he's he got that head injury. He's, he's a bit concussed. He's a bit yeah, out of it. He's a bit stupid. He's a bit. He's a bit. He's a bit disabled now. That's what you want. That's what it is. For someone to come back, you know, get, get into that. No, but he, he does bang in goals. He, he's, yeah. He's not like um, someone who's going, who's going to win the golden boot, but he's he's going to come but back. But I feel like it. with like someone like with Wolves, I feel like they're going to lose uh, Adam uh, Traore. Because he's linked with, I don't, he has, bro. If they he, can keep him along with Ryan. I don't think they'll keep him. I think he will leave. 
He, he hasn't no, but, done anything but, for the past year. But they don't really team. need him. I think they've I feel like they do need him. The defense no, is a bit of a shambles. Think. Cody, my guy, but that guy. Cody. They do have Nelson Semedo. He, he does get spun here and there. Kind of. right back in there. Yeah, but he's alright. He used to play for Barcelona, so he does have some kind he's of. He's got kind that of, quality, yeah. That he's got the quality. Yeah. But I don't think so they need Adam Turner. I think I think Jean Moutinho's got what, two more seasons less than him. And you've got that other kid. David uh, Silva. Yeah. He's pretty decent. He's like 19. So we've got 10th position. Ninth position we're going. I'm I'm going with Leeds. Yeah. No, 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 I'm going with no, Leeds. I'm going it's, Leeds. It's, it's a unanimous decision. No, 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 no. Leeds, Leeds. Everton, Everton. Everton. No, Everton. no, no. Everton. no. Let, let me tell why. Because they got they got Rafa Benitez as a manager. They put in a um, few players in. Yeah, Gray and someone else. Rafa is actually, but Rafa does do a much. R- look what he did with Newcastle when he when he came up. Back Bro, the Leeds league. players are gonna vomit. Look, look at Calvin Phillips had a great tournament. Um, yeah, Bradford is fresh. He hasn't played, so yeah, he's but, fresh and ready. Yeah, but look at the Everton. They signed, they, they signed freaking um, Harrison. Harrison on permanent from, yeah, yeah, uh, but, from City. Okay, look yeah. how well they did last year. Bill, Bill Sarr did even sign the players he wanted, and look where they yeah, ended but, up. Imagine if he did uh, sign the players he yeah, wanted. Yeah, but they gave nine. Look where they were. They gave nine. Their backline is a shambles. Uh, yeah, there is. Their backline is. Yeah, but they didn't even sign anyone. Look how they did. They're not signing anyone. Most teams were thinking even most Leeds fans probably would say we would get rid of him. No, no, no. Finish mid table. That's better than most teams. I'm no, coming to the league fresh. I would have said Everton of uh, oh Leeds. My Leeds God. before. I would, have, I, I would have said Leeds before Everton. But the only reason I'm saying Everton is because they got Rafa Benitez. Bro, I, bro, I made a mistake, bro. Fucking Rafa be fucking Arsenal. No, 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 no. No, uh, ask, uh, bro, no. You know, you know Rafa Benitez. Yeah, he does. A, he, he's he's a great manager. So, okay, look up to Rodriguez. What did he do after first yeah, three, but, four games? Yeah, he did after shot. Yes. Yeah, yeah but he got injured. injured. He got injured. So. Guys, Guys, who do you think is going to come in 8th position? Everton. Everton, for sure. Definitely. Dead Ting, Sigurdsson, Touching Children, it's just very, Allegedly, allegedly. This is to. very bad towards the club, it's going to put everyone down, you know, all the players coming in. So I think they have a great manager, Rafa Benitez, yeah. Rafa Benitez, he did a minus Newcastle, yeah. and, he, and he can get... He, Everton are actually willing to invest money. <coughs> they have good owners, the owners are from... I think the Middle East and they invest a lot of money. They, I they, just they're getting a new stadium as well. New stadium. Yeah. Getting, the new stadium looks very nice and they've invested a lot of money in the last like, five years. That's cool, yeah. I, I, when Ro- Ronald Koeman was there, like, yeah, yeah. yeah they, he spent like more than like 100 million, remember? I think he, he bought a Sigurdsson. Yeah, he was um, one of who bought him. Who else did he? He, he bought Yannick Blassi, he bought Bear. Those are like the biggest guys. From yeah. there was a big yeah. step up. Yeah, but, they, they stepped up very well. But eight positions seems right for them, really. I think they could do better, but I think they do miss some positions. But they do have some good strikers in Richardson. I feel like they, some Lewin. defenders they might struggling. They got centre backs, but they're not as like you know Keane's alright, but he's not all that. They're Godfrey. Keane is Godfrey, 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 Godfrey. Yeah, Keane was very over ever since he came from Burnley. Yeah, yeah, I think they're over. And Coleman, great. he's getting a bit old. He yeah, he's shaking his Coleman, and he's he's getting old. He's not the same. For, so for 8th position, we've got Everton, so for 7th position... Joke man Arsenal, you pussy oh, old fam, suck your mothers oh, man, dude, dead yeah. ting fam, parties not even have a party, he's all by himself, there's no way to be seen. He's already playing Fucking against. Ben White, more like Ben <laughs> Shite, <laughs> fucking 50 mil, doing TikToks, <laughs> what are you trying to bring in bruv, Abamian looking at Travis Scott smoking in the highest room bruv, what is he doing, he's the highest on the pitch fam. What is his hairstyles? All he's good at is driving in his Lamborghini and driving about like a fan. He has a lot of Ferrari as well. Fuck him. Fucking Pepe near 100 mi- yeah, million it's euros. It's no, in, in euros, oh, it's, it's 100 euros million. 100, yeah. But still 100 million for that guy. All he does is run, trying to be like Robin, shooting with his left. He ain't shit, fam. Lacazette is like an old geezer. He can't do anything, fam. Who else have they got? The only guy there is Smith Fro. Smith Fro. They had fish, they yeah, had fish eyes in the they had fish eyes in the team. He left the phone about J fam. Wasted that guy's <laughs> talent. Fish Jesus fish. Christ. Okay, bro, shite bro. team Arsenal's a shite team. They ain't doing anything in the next five years. They got the Champions League or Europa League. They got FA Cup. Okay, so also, yeah, okay, let's be real. They they deserve seventh position. They don't deserve any anything else. <clears throat> They do have decent players. Abamia, he's, he's decent. Even though he hasn't been Awful firing. last year. Yeah. After he signed that big money contract, he's like, fuck this. I'm just be like any other player. I yeah, like, you shit. know, when people making Abamia, Amazon Abamia, and Vish uh, Abamia, he does been funny one. Uh, Lacazette was the be- best player, but even then, he wasn't good enough. He's for like him. third. He was the uh, best player uh, last season. Yeah, yeah, he was. He, uh, you know, him or Saka, I would say him or Saka. Oh, he definitely. Saka's pretty good. Mm. Saka's sorry. good, but I feel like after the World Cup has brought him a bit down. After the Euro. It's going to be a lot tough on him, especially like with a lot of people coming into the league like to watch that at the stadium. It's 
gonna be very hard for him like to be like you know and if he does anything wrong you know the black players because no like back. regardless of players even if they don't do anything wrong they still get hate yeah. imagine like he actually did something and messed yeah, up yeah also country. lose yet something bad against man city he's, the black the players first, the first one to be attacked he's the first no, no, one who's gonna get no. like you know <clears throat> Granit Xhaka is still there, so he's a joke, man. He was meant to leave. Uh, yeah, but, right, so, yeah, but but also we can't say anything else. The all or nothing will be very good. Yeah, AFTV is going to be fun to watch for the rest of the more season. Banter. More banter. More banter, I think. AFT is more tired, more Robbie. So six, who are we going for? Spurs. I think Spurs. I think Spurs yeah, see, seems pretty calm for sixth position. I, I can't see them go higher because they're, they're not in the right place right now. No, they just lost they, out of bail. Yeah, they lost out of bail. Yeah, but Bell didn't really do that well. But like, like, whenever he came on, he scored an assist yeah, and made yeah, an impact. I, I think he scored roughly in uh, 9 to 10 goals and uh, 50 assists. He scored assists. 12. 12 and I think he got like 4 assists. Possibly, yeah. Uh, well, guys, his age and barely played at Madrid and he just whacked in for one of the strongest like, leagues in the world. Like, I, think, done very well. I, think, I think Son's going to be very good for them. Son, yeah, they invested him. They're going to be like 5 years. Yeah. He's going to be the guy because he's versed that he can play on the wing, midfield and strike. He can do it. Son like Kane. He's just a striker. He's like very ball on two feet play. He ain't gonna he be like. Finish, that's the most he can finish, and that's all he can do. But besides, I don't think he's a player that can like dribble the ball. Yeah, like from back. He's, he's a good poacher. He, he needs he a right hand man. That's yeah. why, like, you got Harlem and Sancho together. You got Son and Kane. Yeah, I don't. And, think but so. I think Junior. Do you think he's a good manager or he's not? I feel like he's. He, at Wolves, he doesn't know. At Wolves, he, he did very well the first season he came in. Mm. Definitely. But he just tried to sign like the whole Portugal side. Yeah, but he did work. He's a Portuguese. And he, that's what he's keep, he's keep on doing. He's signing, I feel like he might bring this all like Ronaldo Sanchez. Yeah. He's, he's available up on the market. He could go in. Yeah. Well, uh, United could go for him. He's a sick box no. box. 40 million, but I don't think he's that. No. Right. no. He has crazy power. He's a good like yeah. squad depth rotation, yeah. but he could be like a starting. But I think Nuno yeah. could do something. If Arikin leaves, then... I think it just only could go worse for them. But I feel like if Kane goes, they got that big money to get like a proper big defender. No, but when like they could get a Boateng because he's a free agent. Anyone could go for him. Yeah, but that's but he's really old right now. He's not old, old as well. Thirty three. He could do well he's for. Really look at look at Thiago Silva. He's thirty five and got him. Yeah, but Thiago Silva is different. I don't know. I think Boateng I think he's good. like look at Ramos. What 33, 34. You just need that squad depth. You need that little experience in the bag. They don't have that right now. They need it. Yeah, it's what it is at the end of the But Harry Kane needs to transfer request, then he needs to leave. But that's, yeah, that's, 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 the new, that's the whole new conversation. He's just do a Robin Van Persie, really. Yeah, he needs to leave. He needs to win something. If he wants to go as down as Premier League get, greats, yeah. If he doesn't win anything, then how can he, how can he say anything about it? Like, yeah. like a lot of people talk shit about Alan Shearer because the only one won uh, was a Premier League with Black Rose. They expect him to win more, but he didn't. But Kane at least needs to win one Premier League and I think he ain't going to get on Tottenham, he needs to go with Man City but exactly. that, that's a different thing but in fifth position, who are you going for? Less, less oh, City. Yeah. Yeah, less I City. think less, less City okay. is going to be, it could be, it could be, uh, they, they'll start at fourth then they'll bottle back to fifth, that's what yeah. they're always going to do. I think the only way they're going to ever going to get to the Champions League is go through the Europe it's League. Europe. Yeah. Really hard for them to push into the um, top four when you have like Man United, Chelsea. Yeah. Like right. last season was the best chance because yeah. Liverpool wasn't good enough. Chelsea, to, they only start coming up after Thomas Tuchel came in. United started dropping points at times as well. Yeah. Well, yeah. The only yeah. team was Man City, which were doing really well. And Leicester were the best, biggest chance last season, but they bottled it. But this season, they said yeah. yeah, Ryan Bertrand, he's, he's pretty solid. I think ever since Bencho were left, they, they've had problems in their left back position. Yeah. And I think he's good enough. He's not good as Bencho were. But he's something who they'll can do, do the, the job. job. Anyone they get, they lose, they'll get a reasonable replacement. Yeah. If not better, but yeah. And they still have Ianacho, Vardy, Mad- Madison's going to be bad. I don't think Vardy's the same anymore. After he had that yes. last season, like injury, I think it was, and he came back, he was not the same. But he, he did assist quite a bit to Ianacho. The Red Bulls is getting him. <laughs> the Red Bull cigarettes are going to get to him. He, he has the maddest guy I've ever seen. Go on with the Sky Sports thing. He drinks like four Red Bulls before yeah. training. He doesn't do like pre work or anything. He just like drinks that. Red Bulls, but Leicester, he can't. Fifth sounds reasonable. It's with, reasonable, yeah. With the budget they have, they, they're always over exceeding, they're over performing. Like, they're, and they don't they're even building a new lot. stadium as well. Yeah. They're building like a 40,000 or 45,000 like stadium, yeah. It's a nice thing. And they never overspend on like they always spend like a reasonable amount of players, like of twenty course. to like thirty five million and somehow they get the best yeah. out of them. Yeah, of course, they always get the best player out of them. So for <laughs> fourth for fourth position who are you gonna go for? Uh, there we go, the real conversation. Top four. Top four. I, I'm I'm gonna go Man United. 
play for them, I know as well. It's really tough though. Again, we don't I want to say play. Liverpool, but I think it's United. It has to be United in it because, like, it's weird to say because look at the team but, that they got like, at them, though. Right? Yeah, but United have, have a good team, but as like we're a couple of seasons away from winning it, we still need a couple more players to to make us the contenders. I feel like they just need the box to box. That's it. They yeah, don't have a couple box, years uh, box left. to box, and then if come on, come on, he can't be playing every single game this season. You'll probably come like you'll play like a game or two, like four games, then you'll be benched for a couple of games. To yeah, come back so we need someone season. like a pro, like someone up front who's going to be like. They've a got big guys that can play. They like Rashford. They can play the Martial. But like a solid one, someone like Cavani. Sol- yeah, but it's hard. Like so unless like they can wait until next year and get like a Haaland on on yeah. the seventy five mil, which is a bargain. Mason Greenwood would, um, would do a really good. Yeah, I really wanted to see. Lot, him. lot of people saying like Aaron Neville like this I, the day. I, I, I really wanted to see him play in this position because he's playing being right middle, but he's a natural striker. He's but a, I feel like he prefers that because he loves to run with the ball and like he likes to fight. Yeah, he likes to do that. But United, if, if we get a couple of injuries, then we, we're fucked. That they've got rotation, but they're shy. They need yeah. better ones. Exactly. We have rotation, not like great. They've rotation. got their starting eleven. If they can get but, better rotation, as but, City if, or but if you else. think like Chelsea rotation, Liverpool's rotation, or Man City's. Rotation, there's so much ahead of us. Bro, so City's rotation is probably better than most teams in Premier League. Yeah, it's, it's probably better than most teams in Europe as well. If you really think about it. But you don't have to go for that. I think yeah. we're still a couple of seasons away from winning it. Mm. We could do what well. I think we'll close the gap to. We could It'll be a good fight. It'll yeah, be a it's, good it's, fight, but they're not going to win normally it. Normally, what happens is that first and second have a fight, and the third and fourth have a fight. But I think this time it could be a fight from first, like from second to fourth. It could go either way. But I think, like, do I think who we're gonna predict for first? They're, they're gonna run away with it because the yeah. players that have. But in third position, I'm gonna go with Chelsea. Chelsea for me. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I think I, I think I would have put Chelsea in second, but Liverpool have all, all the players coming back just in the right time. Joe Gomez is back, Captain Endo's back, um, no. Van Dijk's back, and they they signed the centre back from RB Leipzig. Konate. Konate, yeah. He's he looks solid. Uh, I think he had more interceptions than. Uh, uh, he's basically stat on paper he's better than Van Dijk and Gomez. That's yeah. crazy. On paper he's way better. Um, but so like as we can see, like like Chelsea are gonna come are gonna come third. Like they did they signed it could they get a big number nine, number ten. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I That's think they're they trying to go for Holland Holland as well. That's crazy. But I think but, yeah, he's staying this and he's, he's not leaving up and he's not leaving. So and next year it's gonna be very I good. don't they should play Tammy Abraham for uh, Tammy Abraham up he's up on the market. Yeah. They That's said he's up on the market forty million. I think I think that's the one I could go for him, but I I never know but I don't understand why they, they don't play him over Werner. Okay, Werner they spend the big money, but he's not being striking. Maybe start Werner for a couple of games during the season. If he doesn't score, then you have to take uh, drastic measures. Yeah. But I think Chelsea. I think Chelsea can't. I think Liverpool are just a bit more better than Chelsea right now, and I think Man City are, way, are more better than uh, more than Chelsea as well. So third seems right for Chelsea. But then again, uh, Kunde is a massive signing for them. I think it's an exceptional signing. That is very good. Yeah. Like Kurt Zuma, okay, yes, he was good, but. Kunde yeah, gives a good season, but Kunde, Kunde gives something else. There's something good. He's younger, he's faster. Yeah, and he's 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 there for the next five, six years minimum. And yeah, exactly. Yeah, really like he's, 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 he's a like prospect 20, for the future. 22, 23? Yeah, so he's a prospect for the future. The so, and hopefully Tom Stuka does well. They could, I think they they could give a run, they could give a run for the money, but but I think that position seems fair. For second, as I think as Liverpool. 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 They will bounce back for sure. Yeah, I think they will bounce back, but I think everyone coming back from injuries won't make sure. I don't think they'll be fully hundred percent like they haven't had like a proper game or anything like that, so it's hard for them. I think I think the first couple of games they might like not be like fully gelling. Like the chemistry won't be there. Like they might draw the first couple of games, but the more they get into the season, I think the more they will flourish. I think okay, yes, they lost a great player in GG one now. Them and Shakiri is going to leave, but they have they have a great player in them. Was the name Diego Alcantara, and then is not Keita leaving as well? Maybe Keita. Keita, I've heard he, he might be the same. Oh, know it's crazy to think. I thought he would have been such a big player. Yeah, he signed yeah. for RB Leipzig, didn't he? He yeah. signed from RB Leipzig. Everyone it's thought he was going to be the next really guy. Really quiet. Yeah, but then they signed Fabinho, and Fabinho has done a madness for them from playing yeah. six. He and he's very versatile. He played centre back for them last season. Centre back, really yeah, yeah. And I think so. They've got someone. Someone like uh, Fabinho who can do the job. They got a great, great um, defense. Okay, yes, uh, they got Jota as well. So if sometimes if Fabinho's not firing, 
they can bring Jota on. Okay, Jota didn't have the best heroes, but he's still a good player. Yeah. Mo Salah, I think he can go for the golden boot. Sadi, every single year. Yes, Sadi. Him and Mane, with him, uh, him and Mane yeah, can go for the golden boot, so they don't need to worry. Like if maybe if I'm being overcritical, maybe the, like Firmino is not the best player. They might need like a new new number nine, number ten. But that's it's all. Good for us. Yeah, it's but that's being overcritical. Yeah. But when you have someone like Salah and Mane, who can do the job. You overcompensate. Yeah, yeah, he overcompensates. Mane and Salah all the time. So yeah, uh, Liverpool go second, and then first place is Man City. Has to be. They got point the right away the title. Bench is great. Yeah, and then and then them. Apparently, Jack Gish has been a brief 400 million. He's just adding to the. They wanted to try and get Leerish and uh, Kane the same winner. That's what I, but I think Kane needs to force his move. He ain't going to force the move. I feel like he's waiting for another club to come in for him. That's why. I feel like he wants to go, but he doesn't want, He wants a certain club. In. He wants to do it in a way he doesn't. in case he doesn't. It doesn't happen that the fans won't attack him. Yeah. Like he wants to do it in like a very what's the what's the word? Um o- organic way. Yeah. yeah, he wants to do it in an organic way. He doesn't want to make it like like negative, so they want they'll bench him and like they'll try to ruin it and then as soon as they put a transfer request in and if it doesn't happen, then it just ruins everything in the club. Like yeah. you know when Dimitri Pai wanted to leave but then yeah. West Ham didn't release him, that that created so much like they bench it for like so long. Like Dembele from Dortmund, it's like you see, they, yeah. all they do is they submit a request and they don't turn up for training. That's yeah, it. so like imagine really? King. Yeah, it's just going, it's just going to create an hostile atmosphere within the yeah. club. But ja- signing Jack Lirish, Kevin De Bruyne, very big, Ruben yeah. Diaz, John Stones, Laporte, a great team, great manager. Great, yeah. But they Mendy, just need to perform. But like, Mendy, Mendy has been pretty trash this season. Oh, they want to replace him. That, he was very good, but he got injured and that sort of yeah, gave him a setback. He was like good uh, four five years. That was his first when, he first. when he first came from Monaco, he was very, very, very good. Very good. The twenty, I think, did he not leave twenty seventeen and after I think the Champions League. Did, did, did he play the World Cup and then move to Man City, or he played for Man City then World Cup? No, I think he came in around twenty sixteen, seventeen season. I think. Oh, so when did it? When did Monaco? That summer, so sixteen summer. Okay, so yeah, he played very well in that in the finals for for France as well. He played very well in that thing. You after that, I think he took a bit of a he went a bit down. But I think uh, would, I don't they don't play him. Um, uh, in Zinchenko. They play Zinchenko and then. Yeah. But Zinchenko the can attack, but he can't defend. That's why they're trying. But he's young in it, yeah. But they can play Cancelo on the left or the right. So regardless, they got Cancelo yeah. and walk on the full back. Literally, they got such a versatile team. All the guy like. Bernardo Silva can play on the wings. Carlo was like, like 31 though. And he's very fast. He's stupid. Bro, he, the he, thing he, is, yeah. In seen, England, he covered so like, quickly. They want to so get fast. rid of like Stone, no, not Stones, Laporte, uh, Gundogan and Sterling and they want to get guys better than them. You can't yeah. get anyone yeah, better so than them. You can't, you can't. Those guys could go to like United, like, Liverpool, straight away. Uh, Madrid, wherever. Bro, Ray Sterling, he was one of our best players for England. In the he tournament. wasn't the best for City though. It's yeah. a different point. Like Lovely You could be well yeah. for your international and crap for your club. Yeah, but I, th- I think Pep is just a, a, t- a type of genius. You just won someone. I think they could win the Champions League this season by defence. If they don't win it this season, they, they will never win it. They will I think win. one day will Last come. Last year was the best chance. Yeah, but yeah. Have, you said, have you ever seen the fact that every team which has been to the final for the first time has always lost in the Champions League? Liverpool. Like when Liverpool first got there, Sevilla when they first got there, Spurs, Spurs when they first got there, every team which has co- ever come to the first Champions League has always lost. Oh shit! That's so it's it's always been like that. So it's it's just it's just a curse. I think this yeah. season, I think they, they need to go for it. I think it's Jack Lewis, I think Jack Lewis is. I think that will give him a help. Yeah, and because I know if they will go for that, because normally when Foden plays. Um, De Bruyne drops back. Is, is, good, is De Bruyne going to be back because he got injured in the Euros? Oh, yeah, I think he should be back. Yeah, yeah. No, it's based in Ifra, it's based in Arnold, but I feel he should be no, back. No, but you got Jack Lirish to replace him. But regardless, really. like, even like, it will be Jack Lirish, um, De Bruyne and Foden. Look yeah. at that. It's young, it's fast, it's quick. Literally. Literally. De Bruyne will play drop back. Uh, Lirish the, will be bossed. The Super Bowl, the Silver, Ra- Riyad Mahrez. Gundogan, Riyad, oh shit. Oh, literally, literally, that team is stacked. Literally, literally the bench is better than... Ninety-five percent of the, the, the clubs league are league. just giving their manager the money, and he just gave away once. Yeah, the rest it, everyone attacks Man City. They bought the league, but it's just business at the end of the day, isn't it? You yeah. can't, you can't argue. If a club has money to spend, they, they have the money to spend. You can't, you can't argue because if Arsenal's not investing money, if if, if um, Newcastle not investing money, that's up to the owners. You can't attack for owner for spending money in the club. Yeah, that's true. Okay, maybe yes, they they spend a bit too much money, but that's PF, that's financial fair play thing to implement. It's not. We can't do anything, so yeah. 
Like, it's, it's what it is at the end of the day. Who do you think is going to be the top, top goal scorer and top assister? Top goal scorer... For me, I don't know. It's just, I, I want to either say Kane or Mane. Yeah. Top goal scorer for me is uh, Mo Salah. Mo Salah, yeah, that's a shout. Top assister? Top assister, either between uh, De Bruyne or Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes as FIFA says it. De Bruyne. Top goal scorer? Uh, Mane, actually. I want to go Kane because I think Kane will still score goals. I think they don't have a terrible manager. Unless you know? if he moves clubs, I don't think he might. System's always different for players. You could do so well and go to a different club. I, I don't, don't work out. I don't look at Sanchez so well. Exactly. The Sanchez. only thing is he changed clubs and look how shit he turned out. The yeah. system just didn't work. Yeah. It could be Kane could go to a different team and the system not work and him. I, I don't think the system will work for Man City, but I think the, the way that they, Tottenham play, they play they play a uh, revolving around him. They they try to drive the ball into him. They always throw it out. With yeah. City, they like. Sterling will have the ball a lot, Ria Mahrez, Gundogan, De Bruyne yeah. There's a lot of good plays in that team Every single guy wants to have the ball for a lot of time yeah, that's I true. don't feel like Kane will get as much if he goes to see yeah. well, You never know Yeah, but I'm going to go with Kane for top goal scorer But I think Mo Salah could get as well A sister A sister, I'll have to go Kevin De Bruyne But I, I feel like someone in Chelsea could do a madness as well I don't see anyone from Chelsea doing that I, I feel like I like Kai Havertz could do something I think He's, he's talented as well. He did well in the He just needs like two, three years. He's, he's, 20, he's turning 22 this season. He just awesome. needs time at the end of the day. But he, but he could do a madness with Chelsea. But I think we've covered everything really. Yeah. Man City to win the league is another depressing year. United you know, to come forward. Yeah. It's just it's peaking. And like, I feel like if, if City drop and, in, and I think if Liverpool City, don't. I think Liverpool will start slow. I think, I think City, Liverpool will start off slow and City, if they're not first by, let's say, January, I feel I like... Think, but I, think not, but I, I feel like City is missing a, a solid number 10. They lost Aguero and I think Gabriel Jesus just can't do that. It's a hard replacement to do. Yeah, they need like, to see because you never you never know. Like If they get Kane, fair enough, they've done it. But I think it could be closer than we expect for Man yeah. United. But it's, it's, this is our prediction for the 2021-2022 season, guys. It's going to be a great season. Hopefully, now you do better than we think. Oh, uh, but you never know. I hope Leicester does well as well. Oh, Arsenal did both. I hope Arsenal. I hope really Arsenal good. get relegated. Same. I'll burn down there. I hope, hope, hope the Scouts is fucked up as well. I hope, I hope Everton do better than Everton. I hope Liverpool. Leeds try and get top four. Oh okay, now it's just getting ridiculous. Well, it's, you didn't, you, you're smoking you my crack, but you never know. Yeah, Leicester won the league. Anything can happen. That was like once in a lifetime. Yeah, but this could be a once in a lifetime. You never know. Top, um, it could happen. You should go bet on it. You never know. It's true. Don't lose your money. Gamble responsibly. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. This is our 2021 2022 season predictor. It's going to be a great season. Please like, subscribe, comment. Subscribe to Gift God. He doesn't have a YouTube channel. If he makes one, YouTube will go down in flames. Everything. What you would say, you'll become famous for the bullshit you say. Like, it will be so bad that people will subscribe to it. You will be like the one at wonder. Like, it will be so bad. But, guys, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I will see you later. Peace. So, guys, who do you think is going to come in eighth position? Harvey Fries. <laughs>